and stimulates new bone and soft tissue growth. Though your body can't normally grow new bone on its own, new techniques and advanced bone grafting technology allow us to stimulate the regrowth of lost jaw bone tissue, strengthen your tooth attachment, or fill in the pockets of bone loss caused by periodontal disease. If you have periodontal disease, your choices are limited. You may choose treatment or to delay treatment. Treatment involves a combination of root planing, new home care techniques, more frequent dental cleanings, and in severe cases, surgery. Delaying treatment will never make periodontal disease go away. Periodontal disease is an ongoing degenerative disease. Bone lost never grows back. If too much bone is lost, teeth get loose and have to be removed. This means you may end up wearing partial dentures or even full dentures. You don't have to lose your teeth to periodontal disease. Treatment removes the infection and keeps the disease under control. By now, almost everyone knows that cigarette smoking has been linked with lung disease, cancer, and heart disease. But most people aren't aware of the effects of smoking on their oral health and its role in increasing the risk of periodontal disease. Smokers are more likely to have calculus, which is plaque that hardens on your teeth, deep pockets between your teeth and gums, the loss of bone and tissue that support your teeth, and chronic periodontal disease. Periodontal disease is an infection of the teeth, gums, and the bone that surrounds the teeth. To understand how smoking increases your risk of periodontal disease, it's important to understand how the disease develops. The main cause of periodontal disease is plaque. Plaque is the sticky film of food and bacteria that forms constantly on your teeth. You must remove all the plaque each day or it builds up and mineralizes to become tartar, which is also called calculus. It takes professional help to remove tartar. There's no way for you to remove it at home. A toothbrush or floss won't even budge it. Bacteria that thrive in plaque and calculus produce toxins, and it's these toxins, combined with your body's reaction to them, that destroys bone around your teeth. Smoking helps cause periodontal disease in several ways. It reduces the amount of saliva production, and therefore the number of disease-fighting antibodies that are in saliva. Lower saliva production also causes increased plaque and calculus formation, and it damages your immune system, causes blood vessels to restrict throughout your entire body, which reduces blood flow. Since your body needs white blood cells to fight off infection, the reduction in blood flow to your gums makes it more difficult for your body to fight the disease-causing bacteria in your mouth. Besides contributing to the onset of periodontal disease, continuing smoking after your treatment makes it much, much harder for your gums to heal. To successfully treat periodontal disease, we remove all of the plaque and bacteria from your teeth. It's critical for you to then maintain a plaque-free mouth. The reduction of saliva caused by smoking makes that job much harder. As we've learned, if you're a smoker, your immune system may not be up to the task. There are more than 4,000 chemicals found in cigarette smoke, including formaldehyde, carbon monoxide, ammonia, and arsenic. The bottom line? Smokers are four times more likely to have advanced periodontal disease and twice as likely to lose their teeth. So if you haven't yet considered quitting smoking, now you know another benefit. By becoming a non-smoker, you can strengthen the fight against periodontal disease and keep your teeth.